inshallah in today class we are going to do the questions on newton's law of cooling now let us first see what is the statement of the newton's law of cooling the rate of change of temperature change of temperature is proportional to the difference of the temperature of the body and that of the surrounding temperature it's very too, uh, easy to understand if the surrounding temperature is very cool less then the change of temperature of the body will be fast the body cools fast its rate will be high suppose if the surrounding temperature is nearly equal to the temperature of the body or difference is less then the fall of the temperature of the body will also be less that is directly proportional to the difference of the temperature of the body and the temperature of the surrounding let me write the state uh, mathematically how we can write suppose theta is the temperature of the body theta naught is the temperature of the surrounding so according to the law what is the the rate rate means d theta by dt what does it means it means the rate means differentiation with respect to time rate means differentiation with respect to time so the rate of change of temperature is proportional to the difference of the temperature of the body difference of the temperature of the body and temperature of the surroundings minus theta naught so if we take out the proportionality we will get the constant we use the constant minus k into theta minus theta naught the constant we here we are using is minus k because the temperature is decreasing so let me do one thing let me uh, use differential equation method separate the variables bring theta here and t here you can do like this d theta by theta minus theta naught equals to minus k into dt now integrate both sides integration of 1 divided by theta minus theta naught into d theta equals to minus k into integration of 1 dt now integration of 1 by x is log x integration of 1 by x is log x so this will be log of mod theta minus theta naught equals to minus k into integration of 1 is x so is this here t to t so integration of 1 will be t plus suppose we are writing c now the next step watch carefully there is a theorem the definition of log is suppose log x equals to n we are having here base e if you take out the log here if you take out the log here then this base will go here it will be like this e power n, e power n. So, using the definition of this log, let me take out the log here. Here we are having the base e. So, take out the log. What is left here? Theta minus theta naught equals to e power minus kt plus c. We can write like this. Theta minus theta naught equals to e power minus kt into e power c. E power c. Let me take e power c equals to capital C suppose. Now, this will become theta minus theta naught equals to c into e power minus k so this is the mathematical derivation of the newton's law of cooling let me use this theta means the temperature of the body theta naught the temperature of the surrounding t means time t means time and c and k are the constants here c and k are the constants here so in the questions i am not going to uh, uh, derive this every time we are going to use this diet formula in the questions. What is the diet formula we can use? Theta minus theta naught equals to c into e power minus kt. So let me do a few questions based on this formula. Now see here I wrote a question on the board. A body kept in air with temperature. Generally the surrounding temperature will be air. Surrounding generally we will have air. So air temperature that is theta naught. Theta naught is 25 degrees Celsius. The body get cools from 140 to 80 degrees. Initially starting the temperature is 140. But after 20 minutes the temperature reduces to. After 20 meters, the temp 10, 20 minutes the temperature reduces to 80 degrees Celsius. Find when the body cools to 35 degrees Celsius. You see the question will be very easy. Let me change it. Generally we will have three cases. Case 1. Always in case 1 you take initially. At the starting initially so what will be the initial temp time time will be zero always the initial initially when you start that means it's st at the time of starting so at the time of starting we take always time equals to zero so what is the temperature temperature falls from 140 to 80 so the initial temperature is 140 
initial temperature is 140 so we got this one okay now let me use this to in the question you keep uh, and also we are having theta naught is the temperature of the cylinder is air the air temperature is 25 degrees celsius now let me substitute this in the question let me substitute this in the formula theta minus theta naught equals to c into e power k theta is 140 minus theta naught theta naught is 25 degrees celsius sorry theta minus theta naught equals to c we don't know c you write as it is into e power minus k into t so the value of t is 0 see here e power 0 will be 1 1 into c will be c therefore we get the value of c equals to 140 minus 25 will be 150 so in the first case we got the value of c in the first case we got the value of c now let me do one thing in the second case case 2 case 2 always do die like this huh? case 2 the temperature changes from 140 to 80 in 20 minutes so in case 2 what will be the time now after 20 minutes means t equals to 20 minutes the, the temperature is 80 degrees celsius the temperature changes from 140 to 80 that means the case 2 the temperature will be 80 the time taken for to drop the temperature is 20 minutes so again we let me substitute now what is theta naught theta naught will be always the surrounding temperature that is 25 degrees celsius now again you substitute in the formula theta minus theta naught equals to c into e power minus kt now here we are having theta is 80 minus theta naught is always 25 equals to c we got here c as 115 into e power minus k into t the value of t is 20 minutes the value of sorry sorry so what will be here 80 minus 25 will be 55 55 now bring this 115 here by 115 equals to e power minus 20 k e power minus 20 k so let me cancel this one 5 1 5 1 5 2 5 3 therefore you see here e power minus 20 k equals to 11 by 23 11 by 23 let me change a little bit here so you, you do one thing if we take see we can write like this e power minus k equals to 11 by 23 power if we bring 20 here from here to here it will become 1 by 20 i am noting this as 1 let me note this as 1 watch here if you bring this 20 here on the other side it will be 11 by 20 11, sorry 11 by 23 into 20 if you bring in on the other side it will be 1 by 20. so we got the value of e power minus k we got the value of e power minus k now case 3 case 3 now the case 3 will be always the question case 3 will be always the question what is the question find when find when and means time equals to how much when is time find when the body temperature will become 35 degrees the body temperature will become 35 degrees so again let me substitute the values here theta minus theta naught theta naught is 25 equals to c c we got 115 into e power minus k into we have to find the value of t we have to find the value of t now let me continue here this is 10 bring this 115 here by 115 equals to you see here we can write like this e power minus k whole power t whole power t now see here uh, this is 5 2 is a 5 2 is a 5 3 is a okay? so let me write like this here 2 by 23 equals to e power minus k we already have write the value hidden the value of e power minus k e power minus k the value of e power minus k is 11 by 23 whole power uh, 1 by 1 by 20 and whole power t means you t will get here t will get here so whenever we have to find some value on the base power we, whenever we have to find the value on the power suppose this is apply log on both sides it will be easier so log of 2 by 23 equals to log of 11 by 23 whole power t by 20 t by 20 so let me do one thing this will come here t by 20 will come here i am writing like this t by 20 this t by 20 will come here t by 20 log of 11 by 23 
equals to log of 2 by 23. Now lastly bring these values here. So t equals to 20 is in the denominator here. If you bring this here in the, it will be in the numerator 20 log 2 by 23 and divided by log of 11 by 23. So we will get this from the calcium. We will get this from the calcium. Okay. You see here I am writing. Now see here first thing is let me take the divider. Just wait. Let you take first the divider symbol. So what we are having here 20. So 20 into I am using ln log ln log okay because here sometimes we use e also no? here whatever log you use you will get the same answer but I am using ln 2 divided by 23 bracket close what is in the denominator in the denominator we are having log ln 11 divided by 23 so let me see the answer so the answer is 66.66.24 so we are writing in the minutes now so after 66.24 minutes the temperature is reduced to the temperature is reduced to 35 degrees celsius so let me do one more question based on this you write the remaining answer after 64.24 minutes see here next question a body is originally at 80 degrees celsius and initial temperature is 80 degrees celsius and cools down to 60 degrees Celsius in 20 minutes and cools down to 20 60 degrees Celsius in 20 minutes if the temperature of the air is 40 degrees Celsius if the temperature of the air is 40 degrees Celsius find the temperature of the body after 40 minutes the same question same method let me start always we will have three conditions here in the case one and case two will get the values and the case three will be the question according to the Newton's law of cooling theta minus theta naught equals to c into in the case one we use the initial values initially we write initially what will be the value of time zero the temperature initially is 80 degrees celsius after that it becomes 60 so initial temperature is 80 degrees celsius and temperature of the air will be constant this is 40 degrees celsius theta naught so temperature of the surrounding is theta naught now let me substitute these values in the formula theta minus theta naught 80 minus 40 equals to c we don't know e we don't know minus k into initially time is 0 so this is e power 0 will be 1 1 into c c therefore we get the value of c equals to 80 minus 40 is 40 so we get the value of c now case 2 case 2 in the case 2 the temperature changes to 60 degrees celsius from 80 to 60 degrees celsius so the case 2 is the temperature changes from 80 to 60 to so case 2 is 60 degrees celsius after time 20 minutes after time 20 minutes after time 20 minutes so this is case 2 again now we have always theta naught will be the temperature of the body surrounding sorry a this will be again let me substitute the values in the formula what is the formula we are having theta minus theta naught equals to c already we got c into e power minus k into t is 20 okay let you find e power minus k from this this is 60 minus 40 is 20 sorry 60 minus, yeah 40 is 20 bring this 40 here by 40 we can write like this e power minus k whole power 20 e power minus k whole power 20. this is 1 by 2 so e power minus k whole power 20 equals to 1 by 2 if you bring 20 on the other side it will be 1 by 20 so we get the value of e power k minus k equals to 1 by 20 power 1 by 2 1 by 2 sorry 1 1 by 2 power 1 by 20 so we got the value of c we got the value of e power minus k and now the case 3 will be the question what is the question asked here so what is the question when find the temperature find the temperature means theta naught theta sorry find the temperature find the temperature of the body after time 40 minutes now again let me substitute this in the formula what is the formula theta minus theta naught c into e power minus kt now let me substitute theta here we have to find the theta we don't have theta so you write theta as it is minus theta naught is 40 c we got the value of c is 40 into e power minus k in 
power t sorry t means 40 so you see here we can write like this theta equals to minus 40 on the other side plus 40 plus 40 into we can write like this e power minus k whole power 40 so we got the e power minus e power minus k just now we got 1 by 12 power 1 by 20 so we see here let me substitute this e power minus k here so see here 40 plus 40 into the value of e power k minus k is 1 by 2 1 by 2 power 1 by 20 again power is 40 so we can cancel this 20 once or 22 so 1 by 2 square will be 1 by 4 so this will be 40 plus 40 into 1 by 4 40 into 1 by 4 you get can you can cancel if the number certificate we have to use calcium but here it's very easy no for one so four ten so ten plus forty is fifty ten plus forty is fifty ten plus forty is fifty so the temperature of the body after forty minutes will be temperature of the body after forty minutes will be fifty in, now let me write the therefore the temperature of the body after 50 minutes is 50 degrees Celsius. Now let me have some another concept under based on other questions. Shana. This is also in the same method, everything will be the same here also. See here law of growth. Law of growth. Sometimes as the time increases, the substance also increases, like bacteria. As the time grows, time increases, the bacteria also increases. So we say law of growth like population the time increases days increases the population also increases and the same way sometimes law of decay sometimes the, as the time increases the substance decreases as the time increases the substance decreases for instance some animal died it decomposes so if the as the time increases the body the substance increases we say growth as the time increases the substance decreases we say decay like radioactive substances there we have decay so for here you see here the rate of change of uh, the rate of growth of the substance is proportional to the amount of the substance at that time amount of the substance at the time we, no, no need to derive everything uh, just by hard formula for rate of growth we use n equals to c into e power kt n equals to c into e power kt same for decay just we write minus kt n equals to c into e power minus kt for dk we use this minus kt for growth we use plus kt n means the amount of substance and c and k are the c and k are the constants and t is the time okay t is the time so let me do same like uh, uh, newton's law of cooling here also we will have the same method of doing the questions so let me do one two questions on this so let me do one question see here the number n of bacteria in a culture grew at a rate proportional to n that is law of growth of law of growth the value of n initially 100 and increased to 332 in one hour what was the value of n after one minutes? one and a half hour same questions like that of newton's law first we let you write law of growth law of growth so what is law of growth we are having we are having law of growth is n equals to law of growth is n equals to c into e power k t okay let me substitute the values one after one now initially let me see same case one is initially always initially we take time equals to zero the bacteria initially was 100 so let me write 100 here now substitute here the value of n is 100 so 100 equals equals to c into e power k into t is 0 so e power 0 will be 1 therefore we get the value of c as 100 first step now case 2 case 2 is after 1 hour that is t equals to 1 hour after 1 hour the bacteria is 332 332 now let me substitute again in the formula and now we are having n here 332 equals to c we got 100 100 into e power k into t is 1 t is 1 so we will get the value of e power k bring this 100 here 
so e power k equals to 332 by 100 now we can write e power k equals to 3.32 so we get the value of e power k here now the third step will be about the question what is case 3 case 3 is what is the value of n what is the value of n what is the value of n after one and half hour 2 ones are 2 plus 1 3 by 2 hour now again let me substitute the formula n equals to c into e power kt now we have to find n equals to c we got already c is 100 into e power k into t the value of t we can write like this 3 by 2 so the value of k 3 t is 3 by 2 now we already got the value of e power k as 3.32 let me substitute here 3.32 so n equals to 100 into 3.32 to the power of 3 by 2 so we will get this value in the calci we can get this value from the calci see here let me start this one see here what we have to write 100 100 into 3.32 100 into 3.32 here we will get the power power 3 by 2 3 by 2 means 1.5 we can write so this is 3 not we got this one as 604.9 approximately we can take we can take what the value we can take we can take 605 because bacteria means it should be a natural number so we can write the number of bacteria after one and a half hour will be 605 now let me do one more question if 30 percent of a radioactive substance disappear in 10 days how long will it take for 90 percent of it to disappear if 30% of a radioactive substance disappear in 10 days, how long will it take for 90% of it to disappear? See, because uh, this is de uh, decreasing, so we can say this is law of decay because radioactive substance decreases, it reduces. No? So we can use a rate of decay. Now, seeing initially, initially, now see here, there is no nothing given for initially. So let me take initial amount as x initial amount as x so time will be always zero time will be always zero now let me substitute this in this value n let me substitute n equals to x equals to c the value of c we don't know e power minus k into time is zero e power zero is one therefore c equals to x we got c equals to x this is initially initially now case two we uh, the of the substance disappear 30 percent of the substance disappear you see here so how much is left 70 uh, percent is left so case 2 case 2 you see here 30 percent of substance disappears disappear that means that is amount left is 70 percent so x equals to 70 percent 70 percent means x by 100 okay so let me write like this 7x by 10 okay now again what is the time here after 10 days so t equals to 10 here 10 days now let me substitute again the formula n n is 7x by 10 equals to n equals to c c we are having here x we got x x into e power minus k into t is 10 here see x x will get cancelled let me write this 0 0.7 you see here we can write like this e power minus k power 10 equals to 0 0.7 now if we bring this sound here it will 10 here it will be 1 by 10 so we'll get the value of e power minus k equals to 0 0.7 power 1 by 10 now let me note this as 2 now case 3 will be the question how long will it take for 90 percent to be disappeared so case 3 is how much is left 90 percent disappear means the amount left will be 10 percent so this will be 10 into x by 100 because x is the initial amount so we can write this as we can write this as 0 1 by 10 x okay 1 by 10 x now let's split this substitute n equals to c into e power minus kt now n we are having 1 by 10 x c we are having x into e power minus k we can write like this whole power t 
So this x axis will get cancelled. So 1 by 10 equals to 1 by 10 equals to we got the value of e power minus k as 0 0.7 0 0.7 power 1 by 10 whole power t we can write like this t here. Now apply log here log of 1 by 10 equals to log of 0 0.7 power t by 10. I am writing here. You see here this t by 10 will come here. We can write like this t by 10 equals to what is left here t by 10 sorry log 0.7 t by 10 log 0.7 equals to log of 1 by 10 means 0.1 log of 1 by 10 means 0.1 now bring the other values uh, what will be t here t equals to bring 10 here 10 into log of 0.1 by log of 0.7 t equals to log of 0.1 into 10. You see here, let me use the div dividend, divide as the symbol here. 10 into log, I am using ln, ln 0 0.1, 0 0.1 divided by ln log 0.7. So, we will get the value of t. So, t will be approximately equals to 64.5 days. The question is given in days, so we have to write days. If the question is given in hours, we will write hours. Therefore, after 20, 64.5 days, 64.5 days, the amount left will be 10%. That is, 90% is disappears. So, in this class, we have discussed about the law of growth, law of decay and Newton's law of cooling. I request to do some more questions for, for practice from any textbook. Inshallah, we will continue in the next class some topics which are uh, not for uh, some universities but for some universities we have the topics inshallah we will continue in the next class inshallah recat is principle and other inshallah in the next class inshallah.